Hello and welcome. This is Deepak Mishra and in this video I am going to talk to you about the difference of post-graduation, the process of post-graduation between USA and Germany. Because I get a lot of questions asking a difference, which one should they choose, which one should they prefer, where there is more certainty, where there is uh, more ex less expenses and all those questions. So I thought I should make a video and uh, underline the basic difference between the system in USA and in Germany. See, in USA, you already know that there are USMLE exams like uh, USMLE Step 1, Step 2, in 2 there is CS and CK, then you get medical license over then, then you have to take Step 3. So, uh, getting these exams, you have to obviously clear these exams, uh, pass these exams and you get ECFMG certificate, that, that is a uh, medical registration basically in Germany, that's the equivalence, they consider your uh, degree as equivalent to an uh, American graduate. So that's the equivalence exam over there. And after this, you apply for match, you apply for residency positions. So qualifying these exams, getting a CFMG certificate does not automatically give you a, gives you a residency position. For that, you have to match, and then you will be uh, pro, like selected based on based on your rank and your not on your rank, but your marks or your SMLEs scores. So if you have scored more than 240 in each exam and passed CS and first attempt and have USCE, that is US Clinical Experience. Uh, and good letter of recommendations if you have done research work in your uh, in uh, your, during your medical study and all then that is preferred you will land up in a position residency in internal medicine or pediatrics surgery I mean very difficult but internal medicine and pediatrics are still available it's possible if you are scoring more than 240s on US MLEs on every step and if you have if you do interviews well interviews are also very important over there so this is a shot of US in US system. In Germany, so there what we have noticed in US system here is that is that you have to qualify those exams, you have to get ECFMG certificate, then you are eligible to apply. After that, depending upon your marks, you will be uh, you will get or you will not get a residency. If your marks are low, you won't get anything over there. You have to apply next year. Uh, every year you have to apply like that and application costs are every year you have to bear those costs and go to go for interviews and everything. In Germany, you have to clear language exams first of all, then you have to clear this medical German exam, Fachsprache Prüfung, where they test your uh, German medical German knowledge and then uh, you have to clear approbation exam, that is a knowledge, that's equivalence exam, that your degree is equivalent to a German graduate's degree. Here, uh, if you qualify this German exam, that is the approbation exam, then your chances of getting into residency are much higher. So here, this language exam and uh, qualifying exam, that is a equivalence exam, becomes a major hurdle. There, that was easy to clear uh, your SMLEs and get a CFMD certificate was easier. Here, it is qualifying is difficult. Once you qualify those exams, then it's easy, you get into residency over here. That is a major difference. And uh, once you qualify those, uh, once you qualify that approbation exam, you take, uh, then it will be easy for you. Here, if you want to get into surgical branches, Germany, I always suggest that if you are, if you are interested in going abroad and getting into surgical branches, then Germany is a more realistic approach than US. Uh, because uh, people are getting into residency in surgical branches in Germany but you have to qualify those exams that uh, if you talk about surety or costs both are unsure both require hard work US and Germany both require the hard work is different in U uh, US you have to study for US MLE exams here you have to do language exams then you have to uh, learn the German system and the German culture and uh, get adapted to the system so the, the hard work is different you don't have to sit and mug those uh, books uh, in Germany. You have, I mean, you have to study, but you don't have to uh, learn every disease and every uh, detail of syndromes and everything. You have to learn the language in detail. You have to learn the grammar in detail. Uh, you have to learn the basic medicine in German. Again, relearn them. So those things are a little difficult. You have to integrate in the system here. So, and uh, when you talk about uncertainty, both are a little bit uncertain in US. It might happen that you uh, do the entire process, you, these US MLEs and everything take around one and a half to two years. Uh, you do that, you spend lots of money and at the end you don't end up in residency, you don't uh, get matched. Uh, that can happen, that happens with most of the people. 
uh, for USMLE and that is also true with Germany that if you uh, if you are not if you lose uh, if you're not up to that mark, then you might not find any residency. You might not clear the exams. Basically, you uh, you might you might retake the exams, this Fachsprach uh, and all. But uh, there are people who don't clear it in two times, three times. So you have to uh, struggle. You have to work hard to clear those exams. Approbation exam is also not very easy. Uh, it's getting more and more difficult by uh, every passing year uh, because more and more competition is growing. More people are coming from all over the world to Germany. So uh, in this short video, I wanted to tell you about uh, the difference between US. US, you have you once you qualify, then you have to worry about the competition. Qualifying is not that difficult. Passing those exams are not that difficult. In Germany, qualifying itself is difficult. So the equivalence itself is difficult. Once you get approbation, then it's easy. That's the major difference here. And also, I would like to tell the candidates who a uh, lot a lot of candidates who message me regarding. Uh, or mail me regarding uh, they don't have any registration as of yet that they so when you don't have a registration you're not a doctor you have to understand that fact they might you might think that okay I have spent five years in my medical college in Ukraine or Russia uh, okay fine uh, you have done that but you have to get registered somewhere you have to get registered either in your own country or that is your home country or your study country where you have studied only with registration you become a registered certified doctor and post-graduation is for doctors, it's not for students. Once you're, if you're not a, a registered doctor, then you cannot do post-graduation anywhere in the world. That is a very important question. People have been asking me repeatedly these questions and I have been answering, answering them every time I can. I'm repeating this once again today. And also, um, yeah, so, yeah, that is, that is what uh, was on my mind. I wanted to clear these questions about the you know, difference between US and Germany. Uh, also told you already for medical branches, pediatrics, when you consider what training, how is the training in US compared to Germany? See, uh, already told you English, uh, sorry, US is the English speaking country, there you will get adapted sooner, earlier. And Germany, uh, you will take some time, it will take six to eight months, one year maybe to get adapted to the system, uh, to learn how the systems work over here. Uh, there, in the US you have better chances of getting into medicine and pediatrics, surgery very difficult, you have to be very, uh, you have to score with excellent, uh, you have to have good research articles with you, good letter of recommendations, then you can think about getting into surgical branches in US. Uh, in Germany it's not so, not, not so difficult, it's difficult but not so difficult. Uh, then training uh, in US is more structured and it's shorter durations, three years for medical and pediatric branches. In Germany everything is a five to six years, so the training in Germany is slow and takes longer duration. That is one of the drawback of Germany. Yeah, so I would say for people who are planning to get into medicine or pediatrics should first think of US and uh, like uh, strap your boots and start studying for US MLEs. Now people who are thinking of surgical branches can think of uh, Germany as an option. But remember, there is no uh, alternative to hard work. There is no, uh, yeah, one more important thing. For US, you do not need much guidance because you sit at home or in library and uh, open those Kaplan books and Golian and uh, uh, master the boards and everything and you can finish, you can study everything on your own, you can do everything on your own. But unlike US, for Germany, uh, you have to, you need guidance here because language is different first of all, you need to uh, attend language classes where you will learn uh, language for 6 to 8 months, 1 year and after that also because the steps are multi-pronged, it's not one single road map like in US, there are multiple, at multiple levels there are multiple different ways of, the, of which, uh, through which things can be done. So you need particular, uh, like you need experienced people to guide you through the system and also in Germany things keep changing every six months, every three months rules keep changing. So uh, videos I made like nine months back may not be very relevant as of now because uh, the rules may, might have changed. So that's why I keep updated and I keep making new videos for you guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, so here in Germany you need guidance, you need uh, counseling from people who are experienced in this field. Uh, because doing things alone will be a little difficult. So with this note, I end this video.